All right, hi everybody. Wanted to go ahead and demonstrate how to perform a bottoms up press for your bench. Now you'd be like, well, why would I wanna go ahead and do a movement like this? There's a ton of stability that comes along with it. So I'll show you and then if you give it a shot or when you give it a shot, it is quite a humbling experience to get through it. Suddenly you're like, I really am not that strong. So that's what I like about it. They gave me a chance to reset and try some new things. So I'm gonna get myself a kettlebell and I want it as much lined up onto like my wrist as I possibly can so I can then kind of squeeze it and hold. I let the weight pull as far down and back as I can, still keeping my body in that A frame. So I'm still thinking just like my push up. So I don't want to tee my arm way out to the side. See, it's already messing with me. <sighs> Calm. So if my elbow starts to come way out to the side, I'm gonna get a lot more shoulder activation and rotator cuff. That's not where I wanna be. I wanna be able to get right into where my push up would be lined up, nice and low, and press my weight up. Now, it will stop you in your tracks. It will dance around. I highly recommend go as light as you possibly can and then work your way up from there. It does feel really good as a stretch. So again, you can still get into that range. You can let the kettlebell fall over the side of your wrist a little bit and still work through a really great press right here. Um, so know that you still have some options even if you're working through it or you find yourself with too heavy a weight. But give it a shot and good luck on the next one.